Hi, this is Brandon. Today we're going to talk about mesh cleanup. Before I start to lay out the UVs, I want to make sure there's no errors or problems with the model itself. So what I want to do is go to mesh cleanup. Now I want to grab this dialog box right here. Now typically when this opens up, default I believe is cleanup matching polygons. And what this will do is this will automatically clean up some issues that I might have in my model. However, I don't want it to clean up first. I want to know what Maya is doing before it cleans it up. So what I'm going to do is check the select matching polygons box instead. Now the issues that seem to come up the most often that I always like to check through are going to be faces with more than four sides or an end gone, lamina faces, which is faces sharing all edges. Uh, this usually happens if I extrude and forget to move that face I extruded. So literally there's two faces right on top of each other. Non-manifold geometry, which is either the UVs getting messed up behind the scenes, because all primitive shapes do come with UVs, but as you model, things get twisted and moved and turned. So sometimes things get so bad Maya can't handle it, it causes an error. Or, again, sometimes you may have extruded something and you didn't pull it out or didn't move it. The other thing is edges with zero length. This is basically if I have an edge where there are two lines or two vertices on top of each other, that's what this is going to be. Now, sometimes Maya will take care of this stuff automatically, but again, I like to spot this before Maya does it for me. That way I know where the issue is and that way I know where I can fix it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to select the whole model and now again, making sure that this is what's checked, select matching polygons, because again, I want to know what's going on and apply. Now it's going to highlight any errors that I have going on and there's, uh, there's a couple here. So let's, uh, let's take a look and see what we're dealing with. What I like to do from here is then check these one at a time. I'll go and uncheck them all and then I will find out what my error is. Now I do need to go back to object mode each time, reselect the object object, hit apply. So it looks like I've got some faces down here, faces with more than four sides. Now this is a bad thing in Maya, really in any 3D software. We do not want to have a face that has more than four sides. We can have triangles, we can have quads. Three sides are fine, four sides are fine. Five sides and up are bad. Now, sometimes this happens if I'm reducing my poly count or I accidentally delete an edge and I didn't mean to. So there's a pretty simple solution to this. I'm going to use the multi-cut tool. To access that the fastest way, I'm going to go shift, right click, multi-cut. Now, I do want to maintain symmetry if I can, and it looks like what I've got over here is it's, is cutting downwards. So I'm going to make that the same from what I have on the other side, and I'll do this side as well. Looks like I've got that triangulated, hit enter, and now I'm back to my symmetry, and I should have this taken care of. So let's go ahead and run this again. I would like to double check and make sure the issue's actually been handled. So I'm going to select the entire object again in object mode, and hit apply, and nothing lights up. So I know this one's taken care of. The next one is lamina faces. All right, let's go ahead and bring the whole model back. Take a look at this, select everything in object mode, hit apply. Okay, so it looks like we also have some lamina faces in here. Now another way to check for lamina faces, which are basically faces that are sharing all edges or faces that are right on top of each other, right click, vertex face. And this gives you a blown apart look of all the faces. So if we take a look at this here, these edges shouldn't be here. If you ever see little just short lines when you do this, that means you have faces that are sitting on top of each other or some geometry where there's an issue here. So just go back to object mode and you're good to go. Now what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna isolate this. I'm gonna go to vertex and I'm going to select all of the vertices, all of them, the whole object. And I'm gonna look up here at my vertice count, which is 145. And if this isn't showing up for you, you can go to display, Heads up display, poly count, and check this, and that'll pull this up for you. But why this is important is I've got 145 here. Now, I have extra vertices in here, and when this changes, I want to know that they're gone, just to be sure. So with all the vertices selected in the whole object, I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Merge. Now notice this, that's 137. Before, it was larger. So when this number goes down, I know that some of these have disappeared. Now another way to check this is to go to Object Mode, and then back to vertex face. Now look at this, and they're gone. So now lamina faces are taken care of. Now if you look at your objects and it still has kind of a different lighting issue, it's also because now this is a hard edge. So the next thing to do is object mode, mesh display, and in most cases you can do soft hard edges that will automatically fix that. So that is now taken care of. All right, now the next thing we're gonna look at is non-manifold geometry. So I'm gonna select my whole object again, my whole my whole model, hit apply. Oh, it looks like we've got a few things here. Sometimes if I do clean up matching polygons, sometimes it will fix some of these issues. I like to know they're gone, which is why we're going through all this. So the best way I found to get rid of this 
is to try clean up, give it a shot. Now it did some things in here. This this is lit up red. Let's take a look at this. Okay, we'll try this again just to be sure. Now it got rid of a little bit. It got rid of some of it, but not all of it. Okay, so now what do we do if the mesh cleanup isn't actually doing all the cleanup? So the next thing I found that actually works out quite well, go from general or whatever workspace you're working in, go to UV editing. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of this for a second. What we're gonna do is I'm going to select my entire object, UV toolkit, and I'm going to go to create. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to create new UVs. You see how I have not UV'd this yet and what a mess this is. Sometimes what the issue is, is the UVs get so tweaked and so distorted after modeling, which is normal, we need to basically make new UVs to fix this problem. So with the whole model selected, I'm going to hit automatic. That's going to project new UVs across the model. Now these are not UVs that are going to necessarily work. I'm not gonna work with those. However, it now has UVs assigned to every polygon. So if I come back to general and we go back to mesh cleanup and again, grab this dialog box. Let's try this again. We're gonna select everything. Non-manifold geometry checked taken care of. Now it also looks like that took care of our edges with zero length problem as well. So sometimes the cleanup will actually clean things up. Sometimes it will not. And these have been the options that I have found when cleanup doesn't actually do its job. You can manually take care of this stuff. So now we're ready to work on our UVs. Well, that's about the bare bones of it.